Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll learn about LVS. LVS stands for Layout versus Schematic. The LVS flow compares the extracted necklace from the layout to the schematic necklace to determine if they match. Both the schematic necklace and the layout are outputs of the PNR flow. The layout is usually in the form of GDS or OASIS and the schematic netlists are either in ICV or SPICE format. LVS ensures that the design is correctly implemented in silicon, identifies potential design errors, and helps prevent costly manufacturing issues. The comparison check is considered clean if all the devices and nets of the schematic match the devices and the nets of the layout. There are two main processes in the LVS flow. The first process in the flow is extraction, in which the layers within the layout database are analyzed and all the devices and nets are extracted. This is where the layout is converted into a netlist called the layout netlist. The second process in the flow is compare, in which the comparison of devices and nets occur between the layout netlist and the schematic netlist. Mismatches between layout and schematic netlist occur in three main categories, net mismatches, instance mismatches, and property errors. Net mismatches can be due to opens, shorts, incorrect connections, or missing nets. To understand about opens and shorts, we need to have a clear picture of schematic and layout. The picture we see is a schematic view of a design. Schematic view is a logical representation of a design. Let us consider net1 which connects output pin O of cell A1 and input pin A of cell A2. Net is a logical connection between two pins. This logical connection is what we see in the netlist. This is a schematic netlist. Now let us see the physical representation of net1 in layout. This is called the layout view. To connect two pins, a net is routed in horizontal and vertical metal layers connected using VRs. Path 1, Path 2 and Path 3 are called shapes. In layout, a net is made up of shapes and vias. Layout is written out in the form of GDS or OASIS. When GDS or OASIS is given as input to LVS, the flow extracts the layout to create a layout netlist. LVS compares schematic netlist and layout netlist to check if all the devices and nets of the schematic match the devices and nets of the layout. Now let us see about the layout and schematic net mismatches. If the shapes of a net having the same layout text are not intersecting or touching, it causes opens in design. In this design, we can see that VR1 is missing between shapes path1 and path2. This is called an open. If a layout with open is extracted in LVS flow, the net which has opens will be represented using two different net names in layout netlist. In layout netlist, the net PYAG70629 is connected to pin O. The net PYAG70630 is connected to pin A. But according to the schematic netlist, pin O and pin A should be connected to the same net. When the schematic netlist and layout netlist is compared, the total number of nets in layout netlist will be one more than the schematic netlist. In layout netlist, without open, pin A and pin O are connected to the same net PYAG70629. In layout netlist, 
with open the pins are connected to different nets this is how lvs results will look like for a design with open the net net 1 which is connected to two pins in schematic is divided into two nets in layout each connected to one pin if the shapes in layout having different layout text on them are overlapping or intersecting it will result in a short in the design in this design path 5 which belongs to net in net is overlapping with path 2 which belongs to net net 1 this is called a short in layout netlist with short pin a and pin o of the same cell is connected to the same net in schematic netlist there are two nets net 1 and in net which is connected to two pins each in layout netlist since the shapes are overlapping both the nets net1 and in net are merged into one net pyag70629 which is connected to four pins not all net mismatches are pure opens or shorts nets might connect to incorrect pins of a cell or device such errors are generally reported as unmatched net group consider a layout where net1 is connected to open of cell a1 and open of cell a2 according to the schematic circuit net1 should be connected to open of cell a1 and a pin of cell a2 but in layout net1 is connected to open of cell a1 and open of cell a2 in lvs results instance 1 is a buffer cell that contains two unmatched nets the names of nets reveal that there is a connection error net net1 on the layout must be connected to the input of the buffer and net outnet must be connected to the output of the buffer but outnet is connected to input of the buffer and net1 is connected to output of the buffer we learn more about lvs in the upcoming videos if you want me to cover any topic related to lvs let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe for more content see you in the next video